this is a chance to listen to and watch the presentation of Raymond Perry, the director, at the annual stakeholders meeting of the Dennis Hurdy Centre from February 2019. It comes in three parts, each of them about 15 minutes. Each year we review our work and try to look not just at what we do, but how we do it, using different lenses. In 2016, the year of mercy, we looked at the seven corporal works of mercy. In 2017, as we celebrated 50 years of St. Paul VI, document Pop Law and Progressio, his challenge to the church to develop the world, we looked at our work in that context. And in 2018, as we mourned the loss of our dear Bishop Barry Wood, we looked at the values that he exemplified in his life as values of the Dennis Hurley Centre. The Bishop Barry Wood Award was inaugurated last year in honour of Bishop Barry, and the winners were Tracy Bolt, who won the Staff Award, and Auntie Gurley and Auntie Eleanor, the joint winners of the Volunteers Award. This photograph proves how outstanding their service is, because the very next day, they were back in the kitchen preparing breakfast and lunch for the homeless. A year ago, we set this out as a schedule of what we had been doing and what we hoped to do in 2018. And I hope by the end of this presentation, we'll, you'll be able to see how well we achieved against our 2018 goals. So what is the lens through which we'll look at our work in 2019? Well, of course, we're mourning the death of Paddy Carney exactly three months ago. And just this morning, unveiled a plaque to Paddy Carney, which includes this logo. It's the symbol of the Order of the Morris Brothers. The Morris Brothers founded St. Charles College in Peter Maritzburg, which was the last school attended by Bishop Hurley, and also the school that Paddy and his brothers attended, and also Father Stephen Tully, with whom Paddy set up the Dennis Hurley Center. Paddy himself was a Morris brother for 12 years. And M, of course, is also the middle letter of O-M-I, the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. So it's Mary's vision of the world, which is the lens that we use this year to review what we do. And that vision of the world is set out very clearly in the first chapter of Luke, in a hymn known as the Magnificat, Mary's declaration of how she sees the world. So let's take different phrases from the Magnificat as a way of understanding the work of the Dennis Hurley Center. My soul magnifies the Lord. Well, that's a good chance to start with Paddy, because after all, who better is there to symbolize how any one humble soul can magnify God's greatness? Paddy's death was a great shock and was mourned by many. He was, of course, remembered by the church and here is the Cardinal celebrating Paddy's Requiem Mass next door at the cathedral. There were many other bishops and religious leaders and priests present in a packed cathedral. But he was remembered by all faith communities. And the day before his funeral, there was a celebration led by leaders of different religious groups at Diaconia gathered around Paddy's coffin. And remembered also by national leaders at the big civic memorial that was held in City Hall, addressed by national leaders, such as the Honorable Zwellium Keyes, the minister in the cabinet, and the current premier of KZN, Willis Mchumi. It's good that Paddy didn't have to wait for his death to be recognized, because earlier in 2018, he received from the Holy Father via the Cardinal, the famous Bene Merenti Award a recognition of the work that Paddy, as a soldier for Christ, had done to fight for the church and fight for justice. This makes it sound as if 2018 was a year of sadness, and of course it was, but there was also great joy. My spirit rejoices. And one of the ways in which we rejoiced in God and praised God was through all the wonderful music that happens at the Dennis Hurley Center. We had our traditional annual junior schools, senior schools concert, and we're particularly ple pleased to see the involvement of Thomas More College in this year's senior, senior school concert held at Maristella. Karen van Pletzen and the Durban Gospel Choir organized an extraordinary Songs of Freedom in the Cathedral 
to celebrate Freedom Day. We continued our ongoing partnership with John Tungay and his Pueri Cantores and the Drakendale Girls Choir School. And also started a new partnership with the Durban Chamber Choir, who sang the Monteverdi Mass in four parts in the cathedral in connection with the Dennis Hurley Centre. Mary goes on to say that God has looked on his maidservant. And as we reflect on those words, we think of the many ways in which we work with and for women at the Dennis Hurley Centre. Certainly many of those who use our services are women, and interestingly, most of those who deliver our services are women. There were two specific focuses this year on women. First of all, we had two days of women's health education delivered by DUT health science students, by cancer and other partners, with 130 women coming through and benefiting from 11 different services. And also in partnership, this time with the US Consulate, Holy Family College, Sanzaf, and many more organizations, we organized a day of empowerment for women, young and old. She rises, we rise. All generations will call me blessed. We're looking across the generations for inspiration is already a part of the DNA of the Dennis Hurley Center. Again, there were two particular focuses this past year. We were celebrating as a nation the 100th anniversary of the birth of Nelson Mandela. And our contribution to that was to organize the Mandela 100, a period of 100 days in which we proposed 100 ideas for people to transform the central business district of Durban, working with a whole network of different NGOs. And we were also part of national Mandela celebrations. For example, the idea of crocheting 27 kilometers of scarves, remembering the 27 years he spent in prison, and distributing those scarves to homeless people, to staff members, volunteers, and did anybody who wanted a beautiful scarf. The other way in which we were honoring the past was the opening finally of St. Augustine's Cafe and honoring the heritage of the school that stood on this site for 50 years and placing finally plaques in the cafe recording the history of the school and some of the names of the alumni who contributed towards this building. The Almighty has done great things for me. Well, we do ordinary day-to-day -day things, but through the year, again, thanks to partners, we're able to do things which are extraordinary. Two examples stand out for me. One is the street store event that we organized for the second year running with Grace Family Church. They collected together 150 boxes of clothes, filling an entire container, brought down 200 volunteers to the Dennis Hurley Center and the mall outside, and set up a street store through which a thousand people were served with quality pre-used clothes. And they didn't just get clothes, but they also got manicures, foot massages, haircuts, and of course, a nourishing meal. And another great idea that took off this year was the selling of secondhand books inspired by our paper money project. It's a small idea that's got bigger and bigger. And very much thanks to Anivesh Singh and Hashtag Books who've made it possible. In fact, the dozen or so sellers made almost 40,000 rand in just six months, selling secondhand books through churches, through the ICC, the uh, City Hall, the Playhouse, and many other venues. The presentation continues with part three, part two.